Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we are going to learn how to execute SQL query in Visual Studio Code. First, we need to make sure Salesforce command line interface, also known as CLI, is installed on your computer. This will enable Visual Studio Code to run CLI commands. We have included this link with installation instructions in the short description of this video. Second, we need to install Salesforce CLI integration on VS Code. Click on Extensions tab on the sidebar. Type Salesforce in the search bar. You can install just the Salesforce CLI integration extension, but we recommend installing the Salesforce extension pack for all the Salesforce developer tools. Click Install. It will install Salesforce extension pack and enable it. Click X to close the extension page tab. Now, we are ready to create a project and authorize our Salesforce org. Press Command Shift P to show all the Salesforce CLI commands. On Windows, it is Control Shift P. Type greater than SFDX colon create project. Press enter for standard. Enter your project name. Select the folder to save the project. Click create project. On the left pane, you will see the name of your project and the default files. Press command shift P to show all commands again. Type greater than sfdx colon authorize and org. Select either production or sandbox. Or you can choose custom if you have a custom login URL. Enter an org alias and press enter. Salesforce login page will open in your browser. Log in to your org to authorize VS Code. You may now close your browser. When done, you will see the org alias you entered appear on the bottom left of VS Code. Now, press Command Shift P to show all commands again. For Windows, it is Control Shift P. Select greater than SFDX colon execute SQL query. Enter your query and press enter. Select REST API. Select Tooling API if you need to query Tooling API objects. You will see the result of your query in the output section. Another way to execute SQL query is to run them from your script files. From the Explorer tab on the sidebar, click on Script Folders on the left pane. Click on SQL, click on account.sql file. You can create categorized script files to store your specific SQL queries. For example, Use account.sql file to store all your account-related SQL queries in one file. You can execute the queries by highlighting them. Now, highlight the query. Press Command-Shift-P to show all commands. For Windows, it is Control-Shift-P. Select Execute SQL Query with the current selected text. Choose REST API. 
you can review the query results in the output panel. Alternatively, you can execute SQL queries with CLI commands on VS Code Terminal. Click on Terminal. Type sfdx force colon data colon SQL colon query dash q quotation mark select id comma name from account in quotation mark and press enter. Here you can review the results of your query. Now you know how to quickly store and run SQL queries without leaving the Visual Studio code during development. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.